It's Freedom Friday, where we highlight an overcomer of addiction. After meeting Jordan Crowder, you might describe him as an active person, but he found himself in a dark place, neglecting self-care, and that almost took his life. A lot of things were culminating, you know, stresses from family life and business. My mother had passed away. We had a big move and a lot of changes in my life. Jordan Crowder says alcohol and drugs became his coping mechanism and his medicine that turned into poison. It got to this tipping point. I got really, really sick. He says his near-death experience. It kind of just shakes you to your core and makes you realize, okay, you're not invincible. Turned into the birth of a new life after going in and out of the hospital. And I swore to them that I wouldn't be another statistic, that they wouldn't see me back in there. And they didn't. We replaced all of those sort of unhealthy things with healthier alternatives, and we restructured our lives at a complete 180. And it wasn't just habits and who he was around that had to change. He said he had to see himself differently. Whenever I was picturing and visualizing my sober self, I saw myself as a free-loving, kind of a beachy surfer bum kind of a guy. That became the cover of his book he wrote while running his own business. When Jordan's not paddleboarding, doing yoga, or walking on the beach with his wife, he's looking for ways to encourage others to step out and find their own path of success. Jordan's book shares his sobriety journey, life lessons learned, and tips on how to become an entrepreneur. And I'll post more information about it on WJHG.com.